guys and welcome to a new vlog. Today is Monday and it's the second week of assessments. I have been a really rubbish vlogger over the weekend. I had planned on vlogging Saturday and Sunday, however, I was very busy and I just didn't really get to film anything and I will explain what's been going on over the weekend and also what's going on this week later on in this video. I'm gonna do a little life update, so make sure to keep watching for that. At the moment, I've literally just thrown some clothes on, chucked my hair up and put some mascara on and I'm going into Erdang for a rehearsal this morning for my friend Anna's choreo and then I have a rehearsal for my choreo at one o'clock I think or maybe 12 o'clock um yeah we have our choreo assessment on the 19th so we're just all getting in as much practice as we can for that tomorrow is flat Christmas which I will also be vlogging but that's going to be in a separate video so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that because that's going to be a brilliant Christmassy vlog we're going to winter wonderland we're doing presents and I cannot wait but for now I really need to rush because I need to go to a post box to post the nine million Christmas cards that my mum has got for me to post so need to post these this morning and also later on in this video I'm going to be showing you guys what I got in my Liberty advent calendar so far so for the first 13 days because I have opened the ones for when I'm in Scotland as well I don't think I've said I'm going to Scotland yet everything will become clear later in the vlog when I sit down and do a catch-up but for now I really need to go and I will speak to you guys later so I'm in prep with no water. oh idiot <laughs> <laughs> No. We're in prep. Meg's here. Chris was here. Zoe's here. Um, what have we just done, Meg? We've just done Anna's Come From Away 28 hours rehearsal. Yeah, and then we got 28 hours. <laughs> I had a tomato soup and smoked chipotle crisps. Meg's got hazel hazelnut hot chocolate. Chris has some egg wrap with egg no egg. egg. Mayo and a cup of tea and an omelette. <laughs> And now we're going to go back and do my choreo rehearsal. Oh, I'm going to dress up as an air hostess. It's going to be amazing. Oh my god, you were literally just a pilot in the last one and then you're an air hostess in mine. So, Destined for aviation. <laughs> so, Abby is now here as well. Hello. And I got us hot chocolates. Merry Christmas. Um, I tried to get Meg one, but she'll let me. Meg's... Oh, Meg, that poor baby. Now you're going to pretend you <laughs> oh, <laughs> We've got the props for um, my choreo. That briefcase is not Stunning. not a vibe. Oh Very god, crummy. you're gonna be such a good mum, Meg. Oh, oh, that's actually really Don't cute. Drop it. <laughs> oh, you just broke its shoulders. You're horrible. Right, we're gonna do do go do go do go do go. What I am? We're gonna go do my choreo now. Bye. So we are in the great hall for my choreo rehearsal. I mean, we've already done 45 minutes. The girls are here. Liv Butler's at the door. We're just about to run it for the last time, so I'm gonna like put it on the table so you guys get a little sneak peek of it all. What are you doing? Ah! Abby, you look great. Hi, I'm Cassie. And look at the Great Hall. I don't know if I've ever filmed in the Great Hall. Abby's got her baby. Oh, what? Right, one last time. Let's go, team. Bouncy, who are you? Should we do our speeches, guys, for our voice yeah, assessment tomorrow? I need to. Today, Today, we are launching a campaign called Be Forty. And you have no left hand boys to be advocates for, for change. change. So, guys. <laughs> So tomorrow we have our voice assessment and it's in the Great Hall, this massive room. We have to stand on this stage at a lectern dress and appropriately. dress appropriately and say a political speech. So that's going to be fun. So I'm going to do my speech, go home, do my laundry, sort my life out and that's it. I had to film this clip again because Abby swore in the background of the last one. Human wasn't very good, do it again. Human kind! <laughs> Don't shout at us! So, <laughs> Bye, Abby! So, exactly how Where's the baby? Yeah. Meg, you're just shouting at me now! You ask us! You ask us! Like the planet. Give us a bit of jazz syllabus, Abby. 
Oh my god, is it gonna- Oh, I thought you were actually gonna do it! <laughs> So, I am now home and I thought that I would just spend a couple of minutes showing you guys what I've got in my Liberty Advent Calendar so far because this Advent Calendar is incredible and I've kind of tried to show you throughout vlogs but it's not been very cohesive and I've definitely missed ones out so I thought I'd just sit for a couple of minutes and chat you guys through it. This is what the actual calendar looks like. It is beautiful. Obviously, it has a really nice drawing of Liberty, the actual shop on the outside and then inside it's so big as well. It has a classic Liberty print and these beautiful drawers. You can't really see the numbers on them on the camera, but each drawer is numbered and they're really big and they all come with a little bit of tissue, the product and a little card explaining what the product is. And also what I love about this calendar is it is numbers one to 25. So you also get a gift on Christmas day, which is very exciting. I know this calendar is super, super pricey and I'm so grateful to my mum for getting me it because I absolutely love it. It's probably not available anymore for this year because obviously we're partway through December and I know they do sell out very quickly, but I thought if you guys saw how amazing this one has been then maybe you'd be interested in getting one next year and yes i am absolutely in love with it so i'm going to talk you through the first 13 days worth of stuff i have opened a couple in advance because i'm going to scotland for five six days so i'm not obviously going to take this to scotland with me and then when i leave london for dubai on the 20th of december i'm going to open 20 to 25 because there's no way I'm taking this in my suitcase. So, I have all this stuff laid out here. And I'd like to say in advance, I'm probably gonna pronounce most of these brands wrong, so I'm very sorry. On the first day, I got these Aveda Cherry Blossom Shampoo and, sorry, Cherry Almond Shampoo and Conditioner. They are small, but I've already done two hair washes with them, and I think I have enough for one left in it. These smell absolutely amazing. And also, if you travel, these are perfect size for travel. And yes, I absolutely loved these. And everything comes with a little card like this one with the number on it explaining what the product is and how you use it Which I think is so helpful because sometimes you get beauty products and you look at it and you're like oh, I don't know how to use this Also, please excuse my hair. It's very dirty I'm going to wash it with this shampoo and conditioner after I film this video and like before I go to bed tonight on the second day, I got this herbivore orchid facial oil. I would say this is the product I've used the most. It is brilliant. It comes with a little like pipette kind of applicator, if you can see that. And basically you just put a couple of drops of it on your face and rub it in after you've moisturized and it is brilliant especially during winter my skin gets really really dry and i feel like this really just hydrates it that like step further than moisturizer and i've never had a facial oil before but i would really consider investing in one after this but i do think this is going to last a while because i've used it every single day since the 2nd of december and it's barely gone down next up on day three i got this peony couture Wilhelm perfume and it's a perfect size for in your handbag i have had it in my like bag for college or in my handbag the bag that i'm using at the moment the most is my whistles rucksack which i bought two years ago now i absolutely love this i've been using it i've had this in there every single day and it smells incredible and the smell really lasts which i think is good you can really tell when a perfume's good quality because the smell lasts throughout the day next up on day four i got a dermalogica intensive eye repair cream I'm sure you guys all know Dermalogica is an amazing brand. I haven't actually started using this yet, but my plan is to try it tonight because we all know the eye bags are real and we all don't want to have bags under our eyes. So I'm very excited to try this. On day five, this is the smallest product I've got so far. A lot of these products are full size or like a good travel size, if that makes sense. This, however, hourglass powder, my, pow my camera probably won't even focus on it because it's so small, is very small but it is the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. Obviously, Hourglass is a very expensive brand, so this probably is not cheap. And I did use it in my jazz assessment the other day, and my makeup stayed on quite well, even though I has, was sweating a lot. It's just a translucent powder, and yeah, I've never really used translucent powders before, so I have enjoyed trying this, and I do really like it. And I suppose it's good, because if I do enjoy this one, I could then consider investing in the larger one and knowing that I like it already. God, my hair is a mess and I literally have no makeup on, but that's fine. Next, on day six, I got this and I was a bit skeptical about it because I didn't really know what it is. It's a full size product and it is the, I don't know how to say this, Aurelia Probiotic Skincare Botanical Cream Deodorant. I don't know about you, I'd never had a cream deodorant. It smells incredible and I have actually used it today. And basically, what you're meant to do is, it's like a, it's not solid, it's like a kind of thick creamy texture. You're meant to take a little bit on your finger and rub it under your armpits and it turns into a powder. And I was a bit skeptical because I feel like 
a spray deodorant I really trust but I've had it on today and I put it on at half eight this morning and it is now nearly four o'clock and I can report that I don't smell yet so yeah this is also really good I think if you're traveling because obviously if you're on a plane you can't take aerosols with you so I suppose this would be really good if you want to freshen up and it literally smells incredible and also obviously aerosols are not good for you to be breathing in they're not great for the environment so I guess this is a much more eco-friendly version Day seven, I got a universal emulsion day moisturizer, night cream and serum all in one. This is brilliant. Again, it's a travel size, which is, but it's not a tiny travel size. Like you're gonna get a lot of use out of this because you won't need to use much of it. And it's perfect for me, like when I'm going home to Dubai or when I'm going to Scotland, I don't want to take a moisturizer, a night cream, a serum. I don't want to take them all. So if you have this all in one, it's absolutely perfect. Next up is another full size product, makes me laugh because it literally looks like a pot of hummus. It is the, oh I don't know how to say this, Nunu hair mask. I'm not a big um, hair mask person, I don't really do much to my hair apart from wash it like once a week. And But I'm intrigued to try this because it isn't something that I would buy myself. Day 9, this is very exciting and it is this travel duo grapefruit cleanser and vitamin e face moisturizer these look brilliant they're from i've never heard of this brand malin and Go goets goetiers unsure how to say that but this looks brilliant this is the sort of thing that'd be great as a christmas present i assume they sell these individually and i'm going to take these to scotland with you with me next week because these are the perfect travel sizes for um a cleanser and moisturizer and i'm super super excited to try them next up is i think the most exciting one so far for me and it is this rose hand sanitizer now it's firstly in a metal you know these kind of metal like tubes i love tubes like this i don't know why but i love when hand cream comes in tubes like this and i've never seen an antibacterial gel in a tube like this so i was very excited and it also smells incredible on day 11 i got this tris mikovi um lip and cheek pencil it's just this kind of like lip crayon and i haven't had a chance to try it but it looks like a really nice color and i do love things like this and my favorite clinique chubby stick has just run out so this will be a great replacement day 11 is a bath oil from suzanne kaufman why do these all have complicated names and it is a bath oil for the senses i haven't smelt it yet maybe i'll smell it just now it's oh that literally smells like a spa day 13 was a very exciting one for me and it is this Frank Body Lip Balm. I just got this this morning and I have been using it so much throughout today. My lips are really dry during winter. I don't know about you guys, but I get really dry lips in winter. And this is a really thick formula, which I feel really, really moisturizes my lips. And yeah, it's just, again, a really good size to keep in your bag. And sometimes it's good to have one like this where you can just put it on your lips and you don't have to stick your finger in a tub of Vaseline. Yeah, so that's me onto the ones now that I should be opening when I'm in Scotland, but not going to open them because i'm not going to carry the advent calendar with me now here i have a dr sabah pure vitamin c powder cream i have no idea what this is i haven't even opened the box yet i'm very intrigued oh this is not what i was expecting it's like two little like test tube kind of things and they have powder in them so i was really not expecting these to look like this what does it say on the card apply me to a freshly cleaned face and witness me transform from a powder to a light cream that sounds very exciting I'm very intrigued to try that. This next one is very exciting and I cannot, I'm gonna use it tonight. And it is the Aromatherapy Associates London De-Stress Muscle Gel Focusing and Soothing. As you guys know, I constantly have sore muscles being at drama school. So it says it's experienced the warming and easing powers of rosemary, black pepper, lavender, and ginger to de-stress the body after spending too long in one position or after too much physical exercise. This sounds brilliant. So I cannot wait to use that. And finally, day 16 is this Surat Beauty Lid Lacquer. I have no idea what this is. It says, I am a ultimate high gloss with high shine, dewy vinyl finish that's never sticky. I don't really get what that is, but it looks nice. And it's just this dark brown color. I kind of see, like, could I use this on my eyebrows? I'm unsure. I'm going to try it in different ways and see how I find it. But yeah, that is days 1 to 16. I literally feel like I have Christmas every single day with this advent calendar. And I don't know about you guys, but I love trying new things. I have a little like box in my 
bottom drawer of my desk with all the like new minis that I get from like glossy boxes or any new like I mean full size products as well I keep them all in there and then when I've tried them all I can decide if I want to keep them or if I want to give them to my mum because my mum loves trying new things as well so yes I am so happy with everything I've got so far now I'm going to do some more Christmas wrapping because some more presents arrived today in the post at Erdang so I'm gonna wrap them wash my hair I'm gonna do a laundry and I'm gonna start packing for Scotland also I don't think I've explained about Scotland so I said I'd do a life update in this video so while we're sitting here I might as well do it I planned on vlogging Saturday and Sunday however that really didn't happen so Saturday I was helping at girls day at Erdang and I think quite a few of you guys were there and I hope you guys had an amazing day um I just ended up like doing my essay chilling with my other friends that I was helping with I just there really wasn't much to film, I wasn't doing anything exciting. Obviously I can't film any of the classes. And I was also at Erdang all day on Sunday. And my friend Grace stayed with me on Saturday night, my friend Grace from Dubai. She had her Erdang audition on Sunday, so she stayed with me on Saturday night. We went for fur for dinner, I took her for dinner, which was really nice. And then we just watched The Night Before Christmas, I think it was called, which is Vanessa Hudgens' new Christmas movie on Netflix. And then we just got a super early night because we both started at 8.30 the next day. I was helping at the audition. Grace was doing the audition. So yeah, I had a great day helping. Obviously, audition days are quite busy. There's nothing I can really film during the day. Then I went for dinner with Grace and her mum after the audition. And then I went for a drink in the pub on my road with a couple of my friends because my friend, my flatmate Eleanor works there. And we she was working, so we went in for a drink to keep her company for a little bit. Then I came home and zonked out and went to bed. Yeah, so that was the extent of my weekend. So I really planned on filming, but it just didn't happen. Then today, you've seen what I've done today. Then tomorrow is going to be a new vlog, which will be up. This will be up. This vlog will be up on Thursday. The vlog of tomorrow will be up on Sunday, and that is our flat Christmas tomorrow. I do have a rehearsal at eight thirty in the morning tomorrow, Joy to the World, but that's fine. And then I'll come home, we're going to do flat presents, then I need to go back, do my voice assessment, I have another choreo rehearsal, then come home, get changed quickly, and then we're going to go to Winter Wonderland, which is very exciting, so I'm obviously going to film that for you guys. And yes, and then on Wednesday, I'm going to Scotland. I'm going to Scotland Wednesday to Monday, because I have a break from assessments. So yeah, I'm going to go see my family, I'm seeing Ellie, so I'm going to try and film some stuff when I'm up there. I'm not sure how much there's going to be to film, because I'm literally just planning on chilling and just spending time with everyone. But I am going to try and over the six days get enough for a vlog. And yeah, that's my life update. Then I come back to London for two days, three days. Come back to London on the Monday evening. Then I'm here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I fly out to Dubai on Thursday night. So it's all going to be a bit manic. But I'm going to try and keep the videos coming for you guys. I really hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I got up to today. A little bit of rehearsals. A little bit of prep for lunch. And then seeing what I got in this calendar. As I said, I would highly recommend it. Yeah, so I'm going to go wash my hair, do my laundry, and start packing for Scotland. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up to let me know. And please don't forget to subscribe down below so you see the rest of my Christmas videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye!